already trimmed off this wire and now um, I have way too much <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to do is I'll trim it back a bit more and strip it and uh, then I'll put the I gotta put the um, lug on this thing so let's cut it here now, I save any of these crap wires guys because um, you know I'm hard pressed on budget to do anything but so far with the help of you guys at the tiny house off grid tiny house here we're able to get some stuff done and things are working out so I'm gonna take my little cutter here and chisel off just the, a little bit of insulation And I think I'm there. I just I heard the pop, so there we go. And a little extra piece there. I may have to cut that down, um, which is fine. And I have the lugs. These are the lug sizes for this uh, terminal block, so they're going to be positioned like that. And then I brought my clamp thing over here. So, the best way I want to do this is because the switch is going to be like thus, this way. I want to have the flat be on there. So, I got to kind of be like this when I hook up the lug to the setup. And that's pretty friggin' tight. So, I take my little crimping tool here and set it up on the red. Whoops. And I gotta, this is, this is where it gets tricky. You gotta kinda hold, you need a third arm kinda for when you do the crimp. Now, what I like to do always, guys, electrical tape. Even though it's tight on there, crimped, I like to use some electrical tape and it's a, an identifier to the um, what uh, what uh, type of line this is. Is it a positive or is it a negative? So, if it's negative, I use black tape. You know, positive red tape so that part's done now I have this part that's already pre-made and done and this one is connect gonna be connecting to the battery so I already have the hole drilled in up here for this one and this goes on the other side of the battery like I told you guys now me leaving this a little long I don't care because it's a load center so that's fine and dandy with me so I can just whatever tuck that crap back and I can tuck this line back as it connects as well so like I say I'm just gonna repeat the process here um, take my little cutter we'll, uh, we'll cut some off I'll spin this bastard and go to town and it's a nice beautiful day out again guys at the off -grid tiny house and um, I gotta say uh, I got lots of work to do here today I brought paint for the outside where I had that discovered that gash in the PVC siding of the trailer and I got to paint that stuff up today as well and uh, last video, um, you guys heard me talking about I heard something outside 
when I was working over here on the MPPT charge controller. Um, well, bad news. My first section that I put up of the rain catchment uh, DIY gutter system came down. I was up on the roof actually when it came down. Um, I was not on the roof but on the ladder. And I was trying to fasten uh, some screws in because obviously the thing went a little stupid on me. And uh, well, let's just say the whole thing came down somehow. Um, possibly why I haven't been catching too much rainwater either. But then again, we haven't had any rain, so I just figured I'd put that as to the reason why. So I just shimmy this one in a little bit to get it to go. Let's see if we can make a good connection here. Yep, she's there. So take some black tape, or actually this is red tape as well, because this is still the positive line. So that really pissed me off. I had um, my, well, a section of my rain catchment system has fallen off, so basically if it does rain, I won't be catching anything, which is quite annoying if you get catch my drift. So now that these guys are on here, I can attach them to the switch. Let me zoom in a bit see if you guys can see what I'm actually doing and I'm going to tighten this up nice and firm here uh, brought everything over so I should be good now what I like to do is turn the lug kind of the opposite direction where I want it to go because when I tighten it up normally it pulls it where I want it to go in the end however it's not doing it for me at the moment <laughs> getting close there we go perfect one so we get the next one in try to do the same might be a little trickier though So yeah, I got lots to do. I got painting, then I got to figure out how to fasten that rain gutter section better than, <laughs> way better than what it is since it's hanging on the, well, it's on the ground. And that glue did not take, which was uh, amazing. So that's pretty bad. So there we go, guys we're tied in I can uh, stuff the wires back a bit line up my screw holes um, I don't like the look of that one why did that bend like that Ugh. let's take a look at that oh Jesus that connection just came up what the hell? That's crap. So yeah, that's just wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, I got the curse of the rain gutter attacking me right now. Um, I don't know why that first piece does not want to go up there. But that's the only piece I've had trouble from, from day one. 
and I don't know if it's just crap plastic or what the deal is. Now why did that not bite down on there? Looks like junk. Junk frickin'. Got to shimmy it up in there pretty good, but let me squeeze this down again. Hit it in two spots now. That's a hell of a lot better. Now that it's being a pain, so we'll retape. But anyway. Yeah, so I'll have to figure that out. Um, I'm not too worried about catching any moisture though because it doesn't look like we're going to get any anytime soon in the forecast. And uh, those weather people are something else. They can't seem to call anything. Um, though I'm interested to see how that hurricane that's going to be hitting the states in Florida there uh, what happens there because uh, that's always interesting to see and you see all the people on the news uh, running to the grocery store last minute getting all their stuff um, again it makes you think about are these people that live there retarded because <laughs> you know you get a hurricane pretty much every year guys I don't know I think by now you'd have a ton of stuff put back, but maybe not. Maybe not. All right. So I'll put some screws in. Get them hopefully back in the same hole where they were. Uh, don't worry about the knob on this thing because um, they do, they are removable. So, <clears throat> there we go. On, off, on, off. Good stuff. So now, all that's left is I gotta hook this up to the battery. And uh, we will do that. Um, because <clears throat> I will add stuff to the load side after the fact once the battery's hooked up. But first, I got to get the vacuum in here, the Dyson, and do a ton of cleanup. Because after all that drilling, we got a ton of wood dust and scrap tinder here, down here to be cleaned up. And then, not only that, I gotta hook up the inverter and all that other fun stuff and see where I wanna put that. So I'll be back to you guys in a bit.